Uh, for me, it was terrible. Uh, I don't think I executed the way I wanted to. I feel like it was a big disappointment to me. 651 is it's not acceptable for my caliber of starts, and obviously how I transitioned as well through the race, it wasn't a good one. But I feel like it's just something I gotta take take with me, and I just gotta get better. When did the race fall apart? Uh, I'll say probably like the last 10 meters. I felt like my knee, my knee drive kind of dropped a little bit, and it kind of just threw me off. So then I was just trying to swing through to get to the line, but I mean, it is what it is. At this point, I know I can better execute the race going on the USA and just fix the things I need to. When did you know Noah was coming up on you? Uh, honestly, it didn't feel him until the last bit. Uh, I knew if I messed up in such a race like this, it caused like a lot of a lot of disruption because it's not like 100 meters where you to clean it back up and finish through the race strong. But I mean, it's nothing I can do about it. This is uh, your first time racing here at the Dallas track. The energy's pretty pretty exciting. Could you uh, touch on how the how it felt just you know, seeing a packed out stadium here? Oh, the crowd was beautiful. Uh, it was cool to have everybody here as well. Uh, the energy was magnificent. Like I didn't think it was probably gonna be sold out like this, but it's happy. To, I'm happy to have try to feel the way it is like this. We have obviously my boy T.O. here and everything, and it's, it's cool to have these guys out here supporting us. You know that uh, Ray's definitely watching here. Uh, what kind of words you got for uh, Mr. Ray and what's after this race? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, the race pissed me off. Cause I know he, I know he called at first. He called Noah winning. Uh, for me, it's, it, it kind of made me mad once I crossed the line. So that's why I know I'm gonna get better and be better for USA's because I don't like losing. Like I said, this year I'm trying to win 100 and. I can't be losing no races. Like if I want to be dominant, if I want to be the best, I can't take no L. So for me, I just, I got to take it for what it is and get ready for the next one. Now, is this going to be your last race indoors or will we see any more uh, races? No, I'm, I'm going to USA. So I'll be in Albuquerque as well. So I want to focus on being a, a faster PB in 100, I mean in the 60. So I just got to get focused on getting ready for that. Appreciate you. Yeah. Last question, Trey. Just ask you, um, how do you use this as motivation going into the outdoor season? Um, kind of pushing through, you know, you're a little disappointed, but how do you use that as motivation? I mean, nobody want to lose, uh, especially in something that I feel like is my bread and butter. Uh, I feel like I shouldn't, I shouldn't be getting caught in the 60, let alone I feel like I'm stronger than what I were when I ran 647. So uh, it's not acceptable to me, but I just use the motivation for the next race and then furthermore outdoors. Yeah. And will this be the first time you're going to USA since 2016? Yes. Right? Okay. Yeah, first time since 2016. What was the decision behind that, knowing, you know, we don't have like World Indoor World Indoors this year? Uh, last year, my sixth, my like first 60 of the 100 wasn't as consistent as it should be. Um, so I wanted to focus a little more with indoors, get get some runs on there, see how my body is, and then go from there. And then last question, what just excites you kind of year after year? Of course, you know, we spoke about like the setbacks you've had, but what excites you about and keeps you going? Oh, I just want to be better. Uh, like I said, it's, I, I hate I hate losing. I hate feeling like I came this far for nothing. So I'm just motivated to be better. Great work, man. Looking forward to the rest of the year. Thank you.